20 anglers. <laughs> 10 teams. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> two groups. Yeah, mate. Yeah. One target fish. That's a huge one. Unlimited ways to catch it. Yes. And one trophy. Yes. YPC Bass 2022 is brought to you by Hearty Rise, Redfin and LMAB. Hi everybody, welcome to Italy, welcome to a brand new show, welcome to the YPC Bass. After a great success with the YouTube Predator Cup in terms of pike, perch and zander fishing, we were really motivated to produce a new show for the tournament fish number one worldwide, the Black Bass. Right behind me you can see the beautiful and famous Lago di Bolsena. This is where the whole competition takes place and this is where we are gonna find the very first champion of the YouTube Predator Cup Bass. Let's go! Before we jump into the tournament action we'd quickly like to introduce you to the tournament location, the rules and the tournament mode. Lake Bolsina, located around 90 kilometers northwest of Rome, is the largest volcanic lake in Europe. The Volsini volcano was last active 104 years before Christ and since then it has remained dormant. The two islands in the southern part of the lake were formed by underwater eruptions. The lake is supplied entirely from the aquifer, rainfall and runoff with only one outlet at the southern end. The quality of the crystal clear water is extremely good. Lake Bolsena has an average depth of 81 meters and at the deepest point goes down to an incredible 151 meters. The structure, the size and of course the amount of large black bass swimming around make this lake one of Europe's meccas for bass fishing. There are 10 teams fighting it out to win the first YouTube Predator Cup bass trophy. They've been divided up into two groups. In Group A we have three fishing equipment brands, Molix, Berkeley and Hearty Rise, the world's leading boat manufacturer Mercury and finally Finval, known for its high quality aluminium fishing boats. Group B comprises four fishing tackle companies, Vestin, Ilex, LMAB and 13 Fishing. Completing this group is the Austrian company Redfin, specialized in selling high-end Japanese fishing brands. Both groups will have two days of fishing, eight hours each day in order to catch 10 bass with a minimum length of 28 centimeters. The length is necessary to make the fish count at all, but after that it's all about the weight. The top two teams of each group based on the highest total weight will make it through to the final day every team able to catch one bass on a topwater lure during the two days of competition shall receive a one-time bonus of one kilo added to the total weight of their fish. Only artificial baits are allowed and it is a cast only tournament which means trolling is forbidden. Since we don't want to have a tournament in which all the anglers are constantly watching their fish finders but we don't want to forbid them to show the audience the newest technologies we decided that live technology fish finders are allowed for one hour per day and have to be switched off for the rest of the day. This is called the power hour and the anglers can decide themselves when they want to start it. Following the example set by the leading bass tour worldwide, the MLF, all bass shall be weighed immediately with a soft rubber mouthpiece scale and then returned back into the lake. In order to ensure the well-being of the fish, no fish shall be placed in any weigh bags or live well. It's also not allowed to flip the fish into the boat. The anglers either need to use a landing net or land the fish by hand. Failure to follow this rule results in a 10 minute time penalty. Enough said about the location, rules and mode, let's introduce you to the five teams competing in Group A. Let's start with the two Italians, Fabio Boscolo and Alessandro Villari, who are starting for Berkeley, an American fishing tackle brand founded 85 years ago. Fabio lives close to Venice and is the owner of Italy's largest online fishing shop, Boscolo Sports. He has the advantage of fishing on his favorite lake during the tournament. 
His partner also knows this water extremely well. Almost daily he is a professional guide taking guests around the lake. The boss of Bass Brigade Europe has caught many big bass in his life. The biggest one, a 5 kilo fish in South Africa. Additionally to the knowledge of his home water, Alessandro has a lot of tournament experience. For example, he was the elite tournament trail champion in 2007. Team Berkeley will be a really tough team to beat. Finval is a Ukrainian company which builds quality fishing boats and they have sent a pretty familiar face to this tournament. Frederick Julian has already competed in the YPC three times. He grew up in southern France and has fished for a lot of bass in his life. Fred finished fifth in the Elite Series Champion's Choice in the US and has caught a 3.6 kilo bass in Europe. Overall, his bass experience is exceptionally good. His teammate Mirko Moll from Stralsund in Germany is not a very experienced tournament angler, but a black bass lover. He caught most of his bass in Spain, and the largest of all was a 3.9 kilo bass caught down in South Africa. Hearty Rise, mainly known for building high quality fishing rods, take part with Michael Haringer from Austria. Michael has caught many decent bass, as well as participating in many predatory fishing competitions in his life. His team partner, Christopher Weiss from Germany, has also fished in tons of competitions, but this is his very first for bass. So let's keep an eye on how things go for him and his teammate. An absolute expert when it comes to bass tournaments is Lukas Ripplinger, who starts for the Italian fishing brand Molix. They produce a large portfolio of predatory fishing tackle and a heavy focus on bass. Lucas finished second in the Italian Bass Championships in 2020 and 2021. His Italian partner Paolo Baraggioli fishes mainly for perch and won a street fishing tournament in Malmo. But as you can see, his personal best bass is a very decent fish as well. The group is completed by two additional German bass addicts who start for the world's market leader of boat motors, Mercury. Tony Weiss has been the fishing partner of Molex Lucas Ripplinger in all of Lucas' successful tournaments. Additionally, Tony won the Big Bass Trophy 2021 in Sardinia. His teammate Christian Beereth organizes the Lawmasters tournament in the Netherlands. He's finished several times in the top 10 in bass tournaments in Italy. He had the shortest preparation time though, since he jumped in to replace an Italian teammate who cancelled his participation at very short notice. Since Christian has known the lake for many years, this should not be an issue for him. Well, that was a lot of information, let's let the tournament begin. Perfetto, my friend. So guys, we are ready. First uh, spot of the YPC Bass 2022. I'm super pumped of it. Yes, let's do it. Come on. So at first we take the spot lock here to be safe that uh, we are don't drifting. We have a, only a little bit of wind, but that we don't drift away from the spot. I take my spot lock in. Now we can prepare a little bit and start fishing. First day, Group A, Team Hearty Rise. We uh, choose a spot near the starting place. We caught some nice uh, bass here in training. Yeah, drop we catch shot. them with the drop shot trick, so that's our first choice uh, for the day. Yeah. Today is no wind, so we start with a 7 gram uh, on a light drop shot rod, the Evolution SP. I would say, let's go. First yeah, cast let's go. Uh, of the day of YPC Bass 2022. Uh, so I think we can start like this, sit down, <laughs> roll the boat, man, man, YPC, let's make it, let's get ready to roll the bus episode, and we are in Italy, 
and we pay a tribute to Les Gondoles à Venise. Oh, oh, We're gonna have a finesse approach, I think, and that's going to pay. Let's go. Ready when you are, Freddy? Yeah. The first cast with the top water. First cast. Ready to rumble. YPC Pass 2022 is starting right now. We just arrived to the spot and this is our first cast. Let's see what happens today. Perücke bestimmt. <laughs> Perugio. So we are fishing a little bit deeper right now. There's a lot of grass there. So we see if in the morning there's already some fish that we can get. Trying to cover the area a little bit to see if we can find some fish here and get them to react to the baits. We definitely can say this spot was in the practice very good for us. We had some good bites, even some really good quality fish here. Um, but it's a very huge area. So it's always that you have to find the fish at first and see where they are located and then hopefully catch some. Okay, sorry, this is the first spot. We are, uh, Sandra is doing some top water fishing just from the beginning while uh, I'm using a spy bait. And we are trying to see if the fish are active and what's the actual situation in this spot. Two very effective bait uh, from Berkeley that uh, Sandra has used many times in the lake. It's just the first cast, so you never know. We try to catch some active fish with the top water to cover up more water in this area. We fish uh, from three to five meters deep. And try to catch big one, brother! Okay. We will start with two different techniques. Uh, I will start with a, a really small Texas rig with lightweight tungsten weight. We tried two different techniques, a power technique with the spinner bait, with the double Colorado, and this slow technique. So, let's see. <laughs> okay, but okay. Uh, no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't worry, so I don't will flip the fish. Okay, but Jesus, he smoked it. <laughs> I think on the size we have to work, but it's the first fish. <laughs> it feels good. Swim, baby. Cool. Yeah, we wanted to try the free rig. We have some tungsten weights directly on the line. In this case, it's a finesse fillet from LMAB. So we can fish a little bit more aggressive, but you get the free sinking style. So the fish get enough time to grab it. We will see if it works. Keep thumbs up. Do you, we know where we have the measure board? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Measure board is here. Yeah. Let it sink to the bottom, a heavy kick, and if you give the line, the slack line, the weight goes forward and the lure goes down very, very slow. A little bit like um, a Texas or a Carolina rig, same, same, but different. Uh, push us out again. Yeah. I'm gonna I'll drive it. Finval needs to move back to the spot. Just one small fish for Mollix, and it's been a slow start so far, also for Mercury. So we are trying to eliminate some water, check out the area, casting in two different directions to 
cover the water and see if we get any fish to bite. But um, it seems like they are not active here yet at the moment. But it has also been a little bit tougher in the mornings of the practice and normally better in the afternoon sessions. And um, yeah, I think we will make a few more casts and then probably move to the next spot. Yes, absolutely. We just checked also the fish report. There was no fish reported yet, so it seems like the bass are still a little bit lazy. Great mate. That's a small one. Yeah. It's not the keeper. No, but no, it's not the keeper. Yeah. I do this I do this by myself. Continue fishing. Yeah, okay. First bass of the day, <laughs> but I think a little bit too small. Go and grow. Send me your grandmother. So mate, can you catch me a big two kilo please now? Please, I need it. When this is what you want, I will. Okay, I will. Thank you. Hi, ah, you're welcome. I changed now the techniques from the spinnerbait to something really typical for bass fishing. It is a, a wacky rig. Here I use it with a small weight of two grams, a tungsten weight, uh, and with a five inch Senko. And uh, especially for the wacky rig, when you're fishing in the depth like that, around seven meters or more, uh, it's really important to let the bait falling nearly without any pressure. That means uh, I using the slack line techniques. I hold my rod really high up, that the line is in front of me making something like a yeah, like a corner. And then when the bait falls down and the bite is coming, I don't feel it in the rod. I see it in the line. So the line thing makes uh, like this and uh, the fish uh, is pulling on the lure then I see on the line that there is a bite. Um, it's really effective when you want to be really without any pressure on the lure and see the bite really good. I wasn't quite sure if this was a bite, but it's the first fish, man. Yes, and it can be a keeper maybe. And in the beginning, especially, every fish counts because you never know what you're gonna catch next or if you catch anything next. I say 600 grams. Oh, wow. Zero, four, seven. Only. Okay, but it's the first one. Okay, let's you, put it back into the water and sometimes they do a little jump when you put them like this. Hey, yes! Nice! nice. Bam! First one, Woo. come on! So they are maybe here and they are maybe eaten. Waking up. Well, let me say they are for sure here, but they maybe start to eat. It was a little bit funny, I had to take a look on your line and think, what is Christian doing? I was sure it was grass. <laughs> and I saw the fish. <laughs> the third fish of the day is a keeper. 470 grams for Christian Beereth and Team Mercury, who take the lead. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. No, tell me why <laughs> you want to. Yeah, <laughs> the singing part you can do. I, I cannot do it. Why? You're the entertainer you on the boat. Tell me why. Where are the bus? Now I want to move a little to search some other plants or something because. Uh, the fish here are not active at all. So yeah, let's try something else and then maybe we can come back later because definitely the, the fish are here, we can see that, but they are not reacting to nothing. So oh, there's, no, there was oh, a bite. Oh, oh. There was a fish? <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Oh, but really, really slow bite. Slow? There's really the pressure and 
Doek, 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 doek. But then he let it off again. F okay, let's try again. On the craw. In the uh, dude, that, you know, you're you're a big uh, better fish yesterday. Feels also like a small ding ding, but I thought it is. Uh, I think it is. It cannot be a big fish. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Scheiße! Scheiße! <laughs> Let's try something different and then we move. Okay. Now I will put um, a medium crow and let's see what happens. Oh, you know. Yeah, one difficult thing when you fish bass and you don't fish bass every day but you fish more mostly zander or perch is that you're gonna need to remember to delay your hook set and uh, if you set the hook too early on the bass you're gonna miss them or unhook them during the fight you need to let them go and grab and it's difficult in your brain because you know that they're gonna spit it out the second they fear something but you still need to let them go a little bit and turn so when you get the hook set you really get them inside the jaw it's a mind game to, to adjust your fishing we're gonna move a little bit now we lost the, the structure yeah we're gonna go to the next one there's another one someplace there a couple of meters away Hast du? Ah. No. No. Fisch? No. No, no, no. In the sinking. But it was definitely a bite. I don't know. What do you what do you say? Mm, maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe no. no. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always not the baddest sign when you get with the first cast a bite. With a new lure. But it was in the fall. Hmm was not on the bottom. I think it was a pretty small one. I always say, better a small one than no one. Yes, exactly. What do you think it takes to get to the final day? How much kilos? Yeah. After two days, with 10 fish. Yeah. And the bonus of one kilo for the top water fish included. I think you need 11 kilo. 11? Yes. I think the... I'd say 16. 16, yeah. Mm. It's okay. for 10 fish. 1.6 each 1. fish. 6 or 1.5 with the with the one kilo fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Maybe more. So we have definitely strong fishermen in this group. Let's see if one of the guys will be right with their prediction. In any case, all teams are still far from that number, including Team Hearty Rise who've just arrived at a new spot. So now we're here on the next spot. Uh, do a few casts in, in this direction. There is the uh, other competitioner, Team Mercury. Uh, and I think he was the only one who caught a fish yeah. till now. So uh, it seems a little bit hard. Two hours, I think. Uh, yeah, but um, that's good for us. We have, <laughs> yeah. we have yeah. a few attacks at the other spot. Let's try this. Yeah, area. let's try this, yeah. The spot is in this yeah, direction. I see. I see. Uh, let's do 20 this. to 30 meters away. Yeah, let's do this. So, we arrived at another spot. Um, it was the spot where we caught yesterday in the practice um, fish with 1.6 kilos. So, hopefully, there are more and bigger around. So, here we are. I will try and pre prepare the net. Now I'm burn it. That year. So mate. Ooh. In front of us. Yeah, they're really sweet far. and they're no really it's uh, 12 to 20 meters. What do you have on? 
No, what you, what, what kind of lure? Uh, Senko, no Senko, sorry, uh, cattail with mm -hmm. three grams, uh, Texas. Okay. We'll try. Yeah, fish, 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 fish. Better one. Yeah, 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 it's a better fish, of course. Okay, guys, we got it. Come here, baby. I think it's, yeah, it's a better fish. On the spinnerbait, first cast. Seems to be a good one. Be ready when the fish is up, net it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in the weeds. Let's go up. Oh, it's a strong one. And he's in the weeds again. Oh, oh God. What the f is it? There is wheat in with, with it. So beef, is it still on? I think so, yeah. Let the wheat, let the whole wheat. Oh yes! Boom mate. shakalaka! Boom. Oh. oh, it's a good fish. Ah, oh, yes. And a lot of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, can be the one from yesterday. <laughs> Look at that. He'd come up with the whole wood down there. <laughs> Oh, look at the smell of this weed. Oh. Foresta aqua. Look at the smell. Ah, there oh. we go, guys. It's a good one. Solid fish, good keeper. Not a giant, but good. So, let's take the scale. Zero, zero. Okay, let's... Okay, close it. And what do we got in the end? 1.28. Thank you, my boy. And go for it. <sighs> First keeper, 1.28. Not bad for the start. No, not at all. Lucas catches the first bass over one kilo. And that is a size that could definitely help to make it to the finals. 1.28 kilos, Molix takes the lead. Team Molex report their first fish. Lucas caught uh, 1.28. Nice, good fish. Congratulations, Lucas, that's very good. And as you can see, maybe also the bigger ones start feeding right now. The sun is up, close to 12 o'clock on the highest point in the day. The sun has now the most power. And the bigger ones should be getting active the next few hours. What? Molix, Lucas, one kilo twenty-eight. Keep calm. Welches Boot passt zu dir? Schauen, testen, kaufen. Komm jetzt an Bord, melde dich jetzt an und sicher dir deinen Termin. Info at boatcenter-b1.de Wir bauen dein Boot nach deinen Wünschen. beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. The strange situation that happened in the last minutes was that I uh, saw a really small piece of, uh, of the weed on the 360 uh, and I uh, throw the, the spinnerbait on that one, I, f I let it fall down, feel the weed and after two retrieves, boom, the bite. 
But then the fish uh, <laughs> seems to be bigger. I opened the drag a little bit and he's going down in the weeds. And like you see, <laughs> he's coming up with, I think, all the plants on that reed bed. But uh, finally, we, we catch it. So it was the 1.28 and uh, we are happy. It works, so we make yeah. the right decision. And now <laughs> the boat is stinky. Yeah. But because this weed is particular because it's, it, it smells like garlic a lot. It's... Blah. Yeah, it's crazy. So now the boat is completely stinky, but stinky, but lucky. Yeah. What do you think for how long should we stay on the spot? A few casts and then we go to the next yeah, spot. For yeah, for sure. Yeah, what do you think? Tell me. Maybe we can go around and fish the other side of this uh, area. Yeah. You try another lure? Yes. Less glitter or? Uh, yes, with less glitter. A pumpkin brown with black flakes. Mm, sounds tasty. And always when you fish direct into the weed uh, with a drop shot rig or uh, another finesse rig like uh, that, that is rigged on an offset hook, always put the, the hook tip into the rubber so you can fish uh, Really good weedless. Shall we trick them a little bit? Why? Scream like crazy that we have a big one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay focused. Oh. Did you hear that? No. What's puff puff? I'm counting bass, but I see nothing. <sighs> Stay focused. Little one? Kleiner. Small one? Yeah. Ja. Aber keeper. Give me the net. Good. Grazie. There you go. Next fish. The second one. Let's put it on the scale real quick. And hope it will not stay for our top 10 fish after the second day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Give me the lip. Okay. Zero, four, five. Let's put it back and please send me, yes, your grandma or grandfather. But hey, in the beginning it's very important to keep up the confidence, to catch some fish, get some bites. So let's report the fish and then continue fishing. <laughs> Chris has got another fish, Team Mercury, 0 0.45. Same, same And stuff. <laughs> the next message from Christian, big one. <laughs> yeah, but it is another, another keeper. So that's the first thing you need to fill up your cart. Yeah. And uh, 0 0.45, when it's count in the end, it can make the difference. So good job, Christian. Fish. Fish. Perfect. <laughs> Man. Okay. We have a finesse fillet for the first one. Dinner is served. Mr. Smolly. Have we agree? Yep, it's exactly 28. Perfect. Okay, incredible. <laughs> 270 grams. Normally, if I fish with top water lures, my lures are more heavy than this fish. <laughs> but it's a start. I will try to catch the big one. Yeah. Bye bye. Put it in the group. We get some good laughs on it. <laughs> in Finval. 1.27. Eh, sorry, 0 0.27. Uh, 0 0.27. So really close to keeper fish. 
Zero point two seven. Zero two seven. Yes. So three hundred grams. Yes. Yeah, definitely the fish are not active. No. Because otherwise, also the DJ. Yeah, that really don't catch something is for sure a sign that the fish are not active. So he's power fisherman normally, I think. I'm using a finesse filet. Yeah, and instead of uh, putting my lure on a Texas hook, I prefer to put it on a straight chunk, straight uh, on, um, we call it onigake uh, hooks, because they have these two small weedless barb there. And I really like it because when they grab it, it's really tilting in the mouth, much more than um, a Texas hook. So I really like this style of hook for a better hook set. And of course, rig it free rig, so your weight is falling down before your, uh, your bait. And you use uh, uh, like a free fall on the bait, which attract uh, a lot of fish, especially when they are heavily pressured, like in this lake. As I told you in the interview, uh, this is the first time bass fishing for me. And in, in my home waters, I use this uh, fish finder and the... Oh, fish on. Yeah. Net. Net. Nice. No, no, it's small. Small? Yeah. With a hand. It's not a keeper. Okay. Small one. Go back. Was another bite. Ugh. Why are they biting that slow? Oh. Ooh. Can that it for yourself? I can. Come to me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a 200 gram fish. <laughs> no, 25. This one goes back. Okay, let's trick the other guys. Woo! Yes! I think uh, the other team made uh, a big good fish. fish, yeah. A big fish. They already start talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a very loud shout. Yeah. I think they made a biggie. That is also a thing about tournament fishing. <laughs> Tricky. The that's the mental thing. <laughs> oh. 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 I saw it. Oh. What the f***? So, it's a tough day, but uh, I believe in a reaction bait, especially in uh, top water. So we need uh, the one kilo extra. We try again this area, and after 10 minutes, we move. Stay tuned, brothers! Yo! Incazzato anche come la merda. Ah! Ci sei? <ride> balla Dio, balla Zarone! <ride> Prendila! This is our first fish of the competition. Very nice fish, good shape, very very nice. Ok, zero scale. Ok, release. Okay, does it say? How much? 1.4, 1.4. This is how the Italians of Team Berkeley imagined it. First bite of the day, but they bring it into the net and it's a good one. 1.4 kilos are enough to claim the first place in the group for now. You're fishing 1.40. 1.4? Yeah. Alessandro, huh? No. 
Fabio, I think. Okay. Yeah, Fabio. Crazy dude, what is what we are doing wrong? Maybe you wonder why we are paddling since we have a super equipped boat. That's just because shit happened. During training yesterday, we get a, a broke down on the engine and we could not fix it in time, despite the fact that uh, we get a lot of people helping and thanks really to the local app and uh, also at home. Uh, everyone has been trying to help us, but uh, unfortunately it's a deeper problem that we cannot solve in uh, a few hours. So now we are stuck with no engine in front and we're gonna modify our plan accordingly. We now use our power hour with Garmin uh, LiveScope technique to search the higher wheeled areas for some active bass or to cast directly on the, on the sports. That's, I think, a good opinion. Let's do that. Oh, Christian is leaving as well. <laughs> Not a bad one. With what? The walkie. Oh, it's a giant dude. It's a really, really big one. It's a really big one. Okay. It's only four point, uh, four, li four pound liter. Uh, not liter, line. What? Wow, that's, that's a really big one. I saw him once jumping. Okay, now my knees are shaking. It's a real giant. It's a really, 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 really big one. Take it, take it, take it. Yep! Boom, shakalaka! This is a big one. <laughs> that is a two kilo bomber bus! <laughs> Jesus! Woo! Oh, man! It feels like a little fish. Is it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Boom. Oh, this is. Oh, it can reach the two kilos, I think. Close to, but it can. <laughs> oh, this, this, is, this is a oh, great fish. I'm, I'm shaking, dude. It's a fing four pound leader. <laughs> Zero? Yes. Perfect. I'm super excited how big it is. It's not two, but. What is it? Uh, it's a two. 196. No! <laughs> but it's a big one. Okay. Boom. This is Bomber a good fish. <laughs> this is a good fish. Ah, that was a really, really important fish for the scoreboard, but also for my mind. So <laughs> when you have 40 minutes or close to an hour, no bites or no fish. Um, it's in bass fishing still not good. <laughs> it's not good at all, but uh, bass are really difficult. When they don't bite, maybe you cannot get them bite over the whole day. So for that reason, it's good to have every time after 30 minutes or an hour a bite again to know, okay, the fish are not completely inactive. So that's good and let's go. Keep on hammering <laughs> like Ebert <Yves> said <laughs> and catch another one. Dream fish for Lucas. This one is very close to two kilos and brings Mollix back to the top of the group. Lucas is happy and the competitors are impressed. Mollix, uh, Lucas caught uh, a bass with uh, near two kilos. Well, great, congrats. So they have more than three kilos with two fish. They're good in the ranking, yeah. I would say. Lucas has caught a very good fish, a lanker, and uh, good for him, congratulations. But 
I, we will try to make it faster. And uh, however, is a very good angler, so it will be a good fight. Lucas, I see you. You fish in my spot. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Come on, Lucas. So we just make a brief stop here at this spot. There's also some grass down here. And of course we are using our electronics to find the spot. Uh, it's actually marked and we will try to make a few casts only and then we will move on. So just a quick check on this spot and then we move to the next one and uh, try our luck there. The guys are catching them right now. There's a few very big fish caught now and uh, of course we it puts a little bit more pressure on us, but uh, still there's a lot of time to fish and to catch some big ones. As far as I know, no topwater fish yet, right? No, no topwater fish, you're right. Yeah, when you arrive at a new spot, it's always good to do some power fishing. So Fred is doing the finesse stuff and we do also one in the same time, a little bit of power fishing. Jerk baiting is a very good choice. You can cover lots of water and also you send good vibrations and this is even the point when the fish came out of the grass or the depth so you have both you have a very good lure and you have the op opportunity to cover lots of water oh sorry <laughs> feels like a strike eh? yeah <laughs> thank you I'm using a really, really thin line on the spinning rod. It's a four pound. Uh, I don't know what is in diameter, but it's really thin. And the problem is also the weeds here can have some small muscles on side. And when the fish is going in the weeds, you need to always check your line. And here I have now a little cut in my line. And when I hook the next fish, I will definitely break it when it goes in the weeds for that reason. Tie again, be safe in tournament, but always it's not cool to lose a fish. Especially not for break the line. We started the power hour right now. This technique is great to find spots a few meters away. So if I turn the transducer, you, you see coming up the higher weed. There is normal weed. There is no weed, nearly no weed. And you can directly point on the spot. It's difficult to see the fish in the weed, but uh, you found the weed very, very clear then you can cast your lure in this direction as we will see later here in the in the small area on the map you will see where the transducer pointed to so my mate are you ready yeah yeah, yeah i'm ready are ready yes. yeah <laughs> you go. we choose this spot because uh, in training yesterday we caught a nice uh, bass on this spot and there were much more several uh, much more fish in in this area so we hope that we can do it again or yes <laughs> I, I hope yeah i hope i use drop shot as i did before uh, i use a, a worm on a, a white cap hook uh, with a fixed bullet weight and i uh, i try to to cast direct on top of the uh, of the wheat field and uh, move the worm uh, through the wheat uh, with small movement and I hope the bass will find them. So we will move spot again, change spot again. Fish a little bit more shallow. We had some good bites there on the first day of practice and let's see if there's still some fish because the weather completely changed. It was <laughs> wind from the other side, no sun, uh, so we have to see, just um, quickly fish the spot and then we decide what's next. Yes. Yeah. Not big, but... Not big. Ah. Not big at all, but... Yeah, but it seems to be a keeper. But strong for his size, strong. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's weigh him quick. 235. <laughs> so it's zero.
3.3 oh! Kilo? Okay, definitely no kilo <laughs> Release it please Mate, read it for me, I just wash my hand <laughs> Uh, I have to say the message. Maybe he will jump. No, he will not jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, but I, but I cannot net it. It will fall through the net. <laughs> Give me a break. I mean... <laughs> What he was thinking about. <laughs> this is kindergarten. Yeah. Was are playing with us? Breaking my ass off. Oh, it's not a big one, but it's a keeper. A little one. Keeper. Not a giant. <laughs> Definitely not. But another keeper. Report it quick. It's already the fourth fish on the scoreboard for Team Mollix, while Hearty Rise who are still in their power hour, are the only team with no approved bass so far. So, now I will try a soft swim bait, a Kitech Fat Impact, Fat Swing Impact, uh, on, a, on a weighted uh, Gamakatsu offset hook. What will you do after the power hour? I don't know, man. Nothing paid off today. Yeah, I thought about uh, going back uh, in the bay near the harbor and do the same though, so drift fishing a little bit. Probably we should we should uh, do this, yeah. But uh, first, let us do a, a few casts uh, at the bridge, at the bridge uh, at the, in the high wheat field. With, yeah. yeah, where the carp fisher yeah. blocked the fish. Better one? Yeah. Not a big one, but I think a keeper. I'm not sure, but I think a keeper. What are you doing, man? It's not in the net. It's in the net. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, have a look if, yeah. if it's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, for sure that's a keeper. Zero point three, zero. Yeah, zero point, zero point three zero. zero. Yeah, nice. Yeah, the first keeper of the day. Yes. Yes, mate. Go back and grow. Yeah, great. Yeah, I hope they're getting the the best getting active now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe with the yeah, time. Yeah, uh, first keeper, come on. Hearty Rise is finally on the board. Who gets the next bass into the net? That was big. This was a Lanka.
So guys, fishing for us is right now, quite slowly, but that is totally normal, but consistent slowly. Consistent <laughs> slowly, yes. We have to find out what the fish are doing right now or where they are at least feeding. I think we try the deeper spots again where we leave in the morning. Christian, what do you think? Yeah, because here on that area right now, there was absolutely no bite, no bite with the top water, and also no bite with um, the vacuum rig, and also the Texas as well. So we have to make a little bit a new plan for today. Try to adapt and to adjust. Exactly. That's gonna be the good difficulty now. He's spying on us. Again, 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 again. Again. The other one? Shh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, I can, I can manage. <sighs> Sometimes... <laughs> Shit happen. <laughs> Bye. Be aware from other big fishes. Fish. Fish? Yeah. In the net. <laughs> oh. You take it alone? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, on a lure like this, the bears are going crazy. But we don't have to measure this one. Bye bye. First top water fish of the day. But since the bass is way too small, it doesn't give Finval the extra kilo. Maybe it is still a good sign and we will soon see someone getting the first approved fish on the surface. Fish. But this one is a little bit better. <laughs> so we can check if it's 28. No. It's not. Okay, next one. Oh. This. Now this is the size they are nibbling. It's not enough. Bye. Try it again. Attack. Hmm? Yeah, what? Yes. Yes, let me get a net for you. Yes, baby. Boom, shaka boom. Not the biggest one. Yeah, but that's a keeper. But on top water. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but it's a kilo fish. <laughs> <laughs> 28. Mouth close. Yeah. 28. Zero. Twenty-eight zero point three three. <laughs> Small photo for the group. Okay. Bye bye. Boom. The first top water points in the history of YPC bass go to Mirko Mall and Team Finval. This helps them climb into second place. Top water has already been done successfully. Now they need some bigger fish. So this is a top water lure, I catch the small bass on it. I get uh, three hits in three casts. It's from Elix, the Bonnie 95. It's a very, very super nice um, top water bait. You can cast it very, very good and it's very easily to fish. 
hopefully we get the strike. They are cruising around and sometimes they came up. And not only small fish, they are solid ones also hunting on the surface. Okay, I think power hours, it's over. We expect a little bit more, but uh, we have our first keepers, keeper. During the power hour and the wind turns, Pfft. yeah, let's try next spot. <laughs> Adesso però, esatto, guarda tu dove va, attento al filo, attento bravissimo. Vado sotto la barca. Marco, Dio che patardo! Wow! Fabio, I love you, brother! Ma chi va? Ti ho anche i bacini, Dio. Ho fatto quella lingua, ma dopo ci ho ripensato. Senta le canne. Wow! Vai, Fabio. Mother f***. Ok. Io che Fabio sei il salvatore oggi. Vedi? <ride> perseverance, perseverance, a bombo perseverance. A bombo fish. Beautiful fish. So, beautiful fish. We wait this beautiful fish. Ok. Come on! 1.81! 1.81. So We have caught another very good fish, nice fish from Bolsena, beautiful color, very good health. It's uh, 1.81 and I'm super happy and uh, about this result, the day is very difficult. The very, day is very difficult, it's very difficult to locate the fish. So it's, uh, it's a prize, it's already, I have already win. <laughs> I'm already okay. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Super happy. <laughs> Team Berkeley stick to the plan and for now it continues to pay off. They target big fish, aware they'll only have a few bites, but when they net a bass, it's a big one. If they can fill the card with those kinds of fish, they will certainly make it. But to catch 10 fish around 1.5 kilos in two days won't be easy. Pure fishing, 181. Nice fish. Who's? Fabio. Oh. They are there, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. 180 is a good job, man. Big fish. Team Berkeley. Just reported another 1.8. Oh, that's quite good. We saw them. They are fishing deep. We know that spots. Um, they're fishing exactly what we're doing today in the morning. They fish the deep grass. So it's quite simple that we maybe we have to do the same. Um, and we will try this. Yeah, let's try to make something happen. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe later on the day we can take a look on the top water point. Yeah, in the evening. Ours probably. Best, 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 best. Take the net. Uh, yeah, do it alone. Size too small. Too small. Sometimes we need it a little bit bigger. But they are also here. Hope to get a bigger one. Yeah, now we change the position. So we start a little bit deeper now. Get the new drift and I mostly try the jerk baiting at first. 
So this is the, the Rerange 110. It's a very nice lure with a weight transfer system. So if you cast it, that will go something in the back. You hear that in the sound. And it flies like hell. So it's a very, very good lure for searching lots of water. We use here in this area or for black bass fishing uh, the most of the time we use fluorocarbon line uh, I think between 20 and uh, 30 uh, 0 0.20 0 0.30 millimeters um, it's because of uh, the wheat and uh, the structure if you fish in, in stony areas the, the fluorocarbon is better for don't get broken instead of the bread. And what's about the the fish and the drill? There was something with fluorocarbon as well. That it's, it's easier. Yeah, when you hook the big bass, you can uh, put the rod under the surface and. Oh, f you missed that. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can put the rod tip under the surface and you have to steady retrieve. You can retrieve them hard uh, only with the reel. Uh, yeah, that's uh, another uh, good thing uh, from Flug Carbon Line. Um, what do you want to do, mate? It's a question. We have to try some more weeds around here or we leave to... No, no, we can try more weeds around here. And then you can try to try again the, the first spot of this morning, yeah. maybe. What do you think about? It was also in my mind, yes. Let's make a move. We decided to go back to the spot where we start this morning. So that was one of our best in the practice and uh, it don't delivered any fish this morning. But uh, we want to try it again and when there is no fish at all we will move a little bit uh, more around the lake to some other spots that are a little bit more far away. But at first let's try that one. Watching the Lawrence electronics, we see some fish laying in the grass, on the grass actually. And we are now back to the spot where we started in this morning, where we had one keeper, right? Um, yes. One small one. One yeah. keeper, one. And one we want to check out if anything changed from this morning. Maybe the fish are more active. But now it's what time? Like one o'clock, oh two o'clock actually <laughs> already, and um, that's normally not the best time of the day. You know, in practice, we did not have almost any fish in the morning, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Don't know why, but sometimes it is exactly like this. Yeah, and it's also not like the other teams are catching one after the other. Yes, all the time. exactly, exactly. I think Morix, maybe they caught their bigger fish shallow I think I saw them deep but now they changed the spot they are over there now buddy here we catch another giant I'm pretty sure another gigante Super small? No, 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 it's a keeper. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, was I think keeper? it was a keeper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think. But no problem. Then it was stupid to don't take the net. Oh. But from that size, we hopefully catch more than only that one. Yeah, okay. the Ho hopefully, we don't catch fish in that size again. Only bigger ones. Only gigante. <laughs> Fish on. Yeah. Have the net in front. 
It's a little bit better. You want me to net it? No, I think it's good. Oh, he's in the weeds. Hmm? He, he was in the weeds. Oh, it, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Net it. Please, net it. Not a very huge one. Better one. But a good one. Good Ooh. boy. Top water boy. Not that kind of fish what we are looking for, but much better than the other ones. Fifty-nine. Cool. This topwater bass of five ninety grams for Team Finval is the final fish of the first episode of YPC Bass 2022. Mollix is leading the board, followed by Berkeley. Both teams were able to catch two fish between one and two kilos. Finval, Mercury and Hearty Rise only got smaller ones so far, but Finval was able to get the top water bonus. Tune in next Sunday when we will show you if anyone else can secure the bonus and which team wins the first day. We'd be grateful if you guys would subscribe to the channel to follow every episode of the tournament. Leave us some feedback in the comments and give this video a like. Thank you, mille grazie, merci beaucoup, and vielen danke. Ciao.